Hey Explorers, welcome to a quick tutorial on how to find the right translation wheel which you can see on the screen right now. We will go through this as fast as we can and I have already spoken to Lana Blake which opens up these two doors for us just to make it a little bit faster. But if you follow along with me you should be able to find it without any issues. So let's get through this and this is actually one of the most important rooms in finding the translation wheel as up here is actually the hidden door where these two symbols right here are actually the ones we have to light up with this valve that we'll see in a second and then by turning on this other control panel that we will find towards the end so right here we go down this tiny hole and here is the valve in this chest, if you're interested, is the Mini Knog helmet, which is part of the Mini Knog armor. But if you want to know how to find that, make sure to follow the link on the screen right now to my previous episode, where I show you guys how to find the full armor and we also defeat the boss. Which, by the way, guys, that boss is insane. That is one of the most difficult bosses of the whole game, or at least as far as I've gone. So let's continue going through, dealing with all of these soldiers, making sure that they don't kill us, of course. Killed him right before he shot us. And guys, by the way, I found this all on my own. I do not like to watch how, uh, how other people have done it so much. So there is one more of the pieces of the armor, if you want to know. So it has taken me a few trials, but it has been fun. It has been fun, definitely. And now that we know how to find the other piece of the translation wheel once we will take both to the outpost we'll actually be able to trade it for a codex with the codex we can then use it to learn how starbound actually right so basically the alphabet of starbound that's what i wanted to say and this is the control panel if <laughs> before i run away without letting you know so now that we have the control panel on and the valve was turned on, if I don't get stuck just on that little edge, we can then go and see the open room with the hidden right translation wheel. Up here, to get up here, obviously I am using the spiked sphere, however you guys can use the grappling hook, it's also a very good way to do it, or the climbing rope, all very fast and actually faster than the spiked sphere. So as you can see now they're both lit up. Up there is just a chest with random goodies inside. Not any pieces of the armor though. And here we turn on the lights and there we are. We have our right translation wheel. Amazing. Now with both of this and the left translation wheel from which, uh, with which you can then take it to the outpost get it traded for the codex and if you haven't seen how to get the left translation wheel you can go back to one of my previous episodes where i show you how to do that now guys this is the end of the episodes i hope i made it quick enough for all of you to enjoy and get it as fast as you can if you have enjoyed make sure to leave a like and if you haven't subscribed yet make sure to do so and i will see you all in the next episode